Over 50 years ago, community leaders had a vision to redevelop Arlington. The type of development they chose became a national trend and is now called smart growth. Sustainability is inherently a part of smart growth. And today's community leaders have a vision to make Arlington County even more energy efficient. A plan that also makes economic sense reaching into the next 50 years. A community energy plan. Well, the way I define the community energy plan, it's this, the next chapter of Arlington's sustainability story. And it did start long ago. I think you, I would at least uh, point to the smart growth, you know, uh, visionaries uh, decades ago. Smart growth is the fundamental backbone of sustainability in any community. And that is the underlying principle that you most efficiently use your energy, your resources, your transportation network if you cluster the people in a mixed use way around the transportation options. And as it evolved, it became clear that the environmental aspects more directly and energy had to be a part of that sustainability story if we were going to be complete. The county had a history of trying to make their buildings as energy efficient as possible. I took that on to another level thinking, well, in addition to being better for the environment, we're saving the county money in the long run. When, when Paul became chair in 2007 and he put this new fresh air program front and center, um, to me that was when that second chapter, that next chapter, opened. And we have made once again a commitment to reduce overall emissions by 10% by the year 2012. We weren't sure that we could make it to that 10% goal, uh, certainly with the economic growth in the county, with the buildings that were being approved, with the population increase, um, that put us in the wrong directions. The county's been adding uh, new fire stations, new community centers, uh, new street lights in some neighborhoods, and so that's additional services which use energy that we have to more than compensate through improved efficiency or cleaner fuels in other areas. We looked at the energy use in our buildings, we looked at the energy use in our fleet, and found um, sort of the low-hanging fruit, the easy things that we could do to improve energy efficiency, particularly in our buildings. The idea was to try to set something attainable, not just for Arlington, but to show other localities this is something you can do without economic pain. We're sitting here in, at Central Library. We've reduced electricity use here by about 25% just from 2007. We did this just by use of, of more efficient technology, more efficient lighting. We continue to upgrade the building controls so that we're not using energy when we don't need to. The target was a 10% reduction. We uh, were ele over 11% uh, below 2000 levels. So setting that target for ourselves, uh, reaching it, um, was I think uh, an important step um, and validation towards then trying to address the other 96% of the emissions which generate from other places. To address the other 96%, Jay Fassett suggested adding an energy component to the county's existing comprehensive plan. The comprehensive plan guides everything that happens in Arlington. Transportation, land use plan, stormwater management, uh, historic preservation, uh, you, we have plans for everything, but not energy explicitly. And that was the new thing that we approached in the last several years with the Community Energy Plan. The Community Energy Plan is a 40-year plan to reduce our energy consumption from all sources. The first challenge was how you, you reach into the private sector the source of the 96% of emissions and energy use. That includes new buildings, existing buildings, residential, non-residential buildings. We're looking at potential financial incentive programs for commercial uh, building owners to try to get them to do more energy efficiency and renewable energy projects on down the road. My goal uh, was to gather community input uh, and letting them know how their comments were incorporated or not incorporated into the plan. We met regularly over 15 months 
um, before we came to a, a formal consensus recommendation to the county board. All those in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? You're never confident until it all happens. That motion carries unanimously. Felt great. Um, I know all the staff that worked on it must have felt the same way. And I think it made people feel good about our community, that we still have that ability to think big, to think long term, to have a vision. With the Community Energy Plan as part of the comprehensive plan now, um, everything that we do in the county, every program we develop, every um, district that we make a sector plan for, now has to take energy into consideration. There's the Envision Courthouse Square study currently ongoing. We're now layering onto it energy planning and making it so it's a seamless uh, discussion about not only land use and transportation, but also energy. And I understand that... Some of the comments that we received was, why doesn't the county uh, embrace renewable energy more? By getting these comments, it allowed us to uh, spread the message that the first thing you do is not very exciting. It's insulation, it's caulking, it's weather stripping, it's making it so your home or your business is much more energy efficient. And at that point in time, once you tackle that, it makes the renewable energy projects that much more profitable down the road. The plan consists of six main goal areas, buildings, renewable energy, transportation, government activities, education, and district energy. District energy is essentially connecting multiple buildings in a community with pipes that run underground. And those pipes carry hot water and cold water. That hot water and cold water is used in each of those buildings to heat and cool those buildings. What that means is we're able to take the energy being supplied to us, be it natural gas or whatever it might be, and we're using it to its utmost, and we're being less wasteful. We would really like people to rethink energy in the same way we have rethought and, and frankly transformed the way we communicate with one another. It's a mindset change we're really trying to um, convey to the community. We need to rethink how we generate, use, and don't use energy. That's the, that is the goal. We can hopefully have others follow our model. You see some of them actually adopting these green building plans. You see them adopting transit-oriented development not just because it's good for the environment, but because they've realized it's good for their economy and it provides a better quality of life to the people that they're representing. The return on investment is important, not just for next month, but for next year and 10 years, and then when your kids are in school, the next generation.